Hey, 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 hey. If you hear the sound of my voice, I want to say I appreciate you and thank you for joining me on my channel today, Thursday, June 2nd, 2022, as we go live streaming with MG The Future, as you guessed it, featuring MG The Future, test driving Isotope Neutron 4, live and in 3D and in person at a live stream near you. Now be sure to subscribe, like, comment. Till next time. Now, some select tunes from MG The Future by MG The Future from 15 years ago, perhaps. Oh, that nice. Yeah, just like that. Shout out to you guys for joining me today. What is it? Almost 8 o'clock on a Thursday night. You guys are eating prime rib steaks, broccoli, and brown rice, and fettuccine, fret, fettuccine, ricotta, alfredo, next to the linguine, stop, shake, twerk, if you see me. All right. Black Lord Ross is first. Shout out to Arson. He's in the building squad. To the soil. I don't know if I've seen that name before here. What's good with you? Katakana Quest says, sup, sup. Very interested in this plugin. I'm glad you're doing a stream about it. Well, you know it wouldn't be a rollout if MG The Future didn't have some. What do they say? It ain't no fun if the homie can't get Neutron. So, I definitely got Neutron 4. I've been had Neutron 4. You probably noticed it in mad streams. Y'all just didn't say nothing because y'all didn't want to blow up my spot. I appreciate you. Calibers in, in, the, in the building. Dope Snare. I see you, Dope Snare. I forgot the next, the next thing for the next city, Nexus. Does he got to put the mix assistant on his Nexus by Reflexus? Uh, I'm the one who can connect this, who can do it better. Oh, hashtag mixing assistant. Mmm, I see it. Composures in the building. Whoa, fam. Lona Boy says, I didn't even know it dropped. Ashley Gordon says, sup, MG. What's good? Hold on, I got to share it. One more, one more de demographic. Hey, yo, like, stop suggesting me stuff. If you know I'm trying to share my link, like, you're trying to stop me. Nothing's going to stop me. Oh, no, I messed that up. Oh, that's flunked out. <laughs> my bad. That's mad. That was a mad late delay in my notification system with myself. But, yo, the beat I was playing was from, like, 2012, kid. Like, 
you couldn't tell me I wasn't Terrell, Mississippi, Neptune, Chad, Farellian, Timothy, Missy, Alfredo. You couldn't tell me that wasn't me. You couldn't tell me that wasn't the illest Timberland drums with the illest Neptune's chords you've ever heard in one song at the same time. The world has never gotten that before. They, they started as a group, didn't they? SBI, Pharrell and Timberland, right? Surrounded by idiots. I'm the manifestation of that. You, you understand what I'm saying? And I, you couldn't tell me nothing. Vincent Arnold says it's not a big jump. Well, let's find out. Then let's find out how big of a jump it really is. Let's, let's find out what happened here. Let's take a deep dive. Let's learn more. Hold on, we gotta let this. We gotta, we gotta let this be finished. You know what I'm saying? You gotta let it. Hey, 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 hey. I'm, I'm almost ready. Drink a little water. Right here. This the one. If I could sing. You know what, that gives me a very brave idea. Today's video will be sponsored by Omnisphere because <laughs> we're doing some R&B with some super modern intelligent mix assisting. Vincent Arnold says, hey, I was in the beta for this. It's not really a big jump from over three. However, I noticed something called the Tone Matching Assistant. I want to check that out for, you know, hashtag reasons. Will Ty says, peace to the lead tribu. What's good to Will Ty, the time traveler? Dope snares in the building with the LOLs. Setting the mood for the chat today. Any minute, our moderator should be here. But we're not going to really wait for them. Shout out to you watching some replays. Like, who's this cool dude wearing Dragon Ball Z do-rags talking about mixing? Can he mix beats? Can he even make beats worth mixing? That is the question you should ask when people do reviews. Do they even have beats worth mixing? Because if they don't make good beats that are worth mixing, why are they talking about mixing things that are not good beats? And that's when you come here to the All-Star AMG Defuerance Review Plug and Shootout Clarence Rifle um, shooting range, we'll get you straight here because we'll make good beats and good mixes all on the same stream. All right, so we got the 10-day free trial. I know um, Isotope is linked up with another company right now, right? There's like this conglomerate between them, Plugin Alliance and something else. I don't know the name of that, but I know whatever that website is, you could probably get this from there as well. My link in the description of the video will take you to Plugin Boutique and you can just go to isotope.com if you want to. All right, so it's it's compatible with the M1 Apple Silicon support chip. They want you to know, just like Fast and the Furious, you can mix furiously in the moment, hence all the orange. We got a new unmask module, which means it's basically what we're talking about with track spacer or uh, the sidechain situation we had uh, two or three streams ago. Unmasking will then look at the module on the EQ level compare the resonances or the frequencies where they overlap and choose one to subtract and one to add to. So it's rebalancing the frequency space between two sounds or more to, you know, to fix an issue of clarity. Sidechain can do the same thing and I believe this is a side chainable module too. So you could do that just when the sounds clash at the same time, but all the other times the EQ is left alone, which I think Isotope's always been ahead of the curve about including. There's a new exciter module with a trash mode. That's kind of funny. When you say, yo, we have a we have a brand new exciting module and it's trash. <laughs> You're like, yo. <laughs> Who are you? Native instruments? Anyway, native instruments is great, by the way. But yeah, native instruments, isotope, and plug-in lines. I think they have a I think they have a mafia going on. Compressor module with a new punch mode. Hopefully that's for the drums so your kick and your snare can cut through. That sounds like a transient shaper almost, right? But right below that, it says transient shaper. So what does punch really do? Gate module, which is, is clutch if you're recording instruments or live sources. An improved sculptor module, which I believe is the... Isn't sculptor mode or module the thing that's like golf ball CQ? 
I know a lot of people love Go False because it did something without you having to know how to do it. It cleared up things. You're like, I think Go False is working. But I think Sculptor came out into Neutron right after around Go False. It was that 2017, 18, right? I remember doing all these videos and I was like, Isotope think they slick. I think Sculptor is their Go False mode. And if I remember correctly, I liked it a lot. Transient Shaper, <laughs> cats out of the bag. Your, your hi-hats should always sound like percussion and that'll do it for you. Equalizer modules, you know, we ain't writing home to mom about that. <laughs> Visual mixer plugin, which shows you the panning and the leveling between all the instances that you have a relay or this plugin on. And it relays in tonal balance control too. I don't know if I have tonal balance control too. I never see it in my, my drop down, so I don't even know what that looks like, nor do I know if I need it. I say all that to say I don't care about none of this. This thing said they had a tone matching algorithm, and I want to know where that's at. There it is. You see this? It says tone match. Talk to me. Talk dirty to me. How do we tone match? Because right now, that's the only thing I care about. I know we could distort our 808s and put the punch on it, pump up the jam, make some noise a little louder, whatever they were saying. Um, bum, 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 bum. Nah, bro. No, 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 no. I want to explore match. They got a video for everything but what I want, though. You see what I'm saying? That's why I have to do the video. What is tone match, bro? Talk to me. Nah, this part. Dynamically. This is see. This is the sleeper part. Everybody else is gonna be talking about. Oh, at the price point, and I really like the way that it sounds on my snare. I'm like the man. We have, you know, how many plugins we have for snares. This is not that. This is what this is what this is about. All right. So dynamically match the tone of your track to a sample or stem using the new target library with tone matching. That's all I care about, honestly. If this works, the video's over. I'm going home. You get to kiss your kids goodnight and make dinner. Ramen with sausage inside of it. In Parmesan if you bought it. Watch. Target library. It, it really... It, I, I'm sorry, Isotope. Like, you got this cool feature that's like... This, this feature is super critical for people who work with samples. Because the challenge that you have when you make a sample or you build an instrumental around samples is that the samples have their own presence, their own tone, their own room noise. They have everything is its own thing. And then you try to load up a piano and play your piano over that said sample and it's disjointed. So the tone match, you would think ideally, will at least get these two very different sources to come close to each other, close enough so that you could continue to mix and add and make the music more um, consistent and glued together. This plugin would do that. So for sample creators, I could use a reference. Let's try it. Let's, you know what I'm saying? We don't, we don't even have to do the speculative masonry on this. We can just do it. We don't have to speculate. Watch this. I, I think I think I know what it is. I don't even think I need them to show me how to do it. All right. So I give you a per example. We're going to go into Mixer real quick. We're going to bypass that. I have it on my master channel. That is a bad idea. We're going to make a really simple sample. And I mean that like simple. Like I'm not even, you know what I'm saying? Like we're not even going to worry about it today. Watch this. Watch what I mean. You'll see. Oh, yo, if you don't just load my plugins. Katakana says that was a pure Neptunes type beat. I appreciate that. Average Joe says, I'm here. What's up to the tribe? What's good to you? And my plugin is still not loading. Binga Two Times is here. Bang, bang. King Lemuel's in here with the productions. Wonder what he's producing. LS716 is in the building. Peace MG in the family. It's almost like Puff Daddy in the family, minus the puffing. Katakana Quest. If it's size chains, then that's an ideal. And that's us pretending like we care about mixing. Ayo Kakondo with the Ayo Prairie emoji. And the plugin still loading. Kirkster, hail! 
I saw the tone matching and said, that's just for MG. Listen, the listen, it ain't hard to tell. Just like what Nas was talking about, tone matching is kind of like a big deal. And I'm not going to say nothing, but didn't I kind of do like a whole tone matching video? I don't know. Maybe two weeks ago, and then voila, like clockwork, the plug-in is born. Like, you guys see what I'm saying here? I don't feel like I live in a nice enough apartment for that dynamic to be true. But whatever the gift the universe gave me to see the future as close as two weeks in advance, I'm grateful of it. Synonym is Neutron, basically. Shout to Kirkster. That is a very interesting assertion, if you will. Bing it two times. Bang Bang says, I just bought the Oxford Inflator. I wasn't even sure about this Neutron for... Glad you're doing a review and a preview. Thank you, and that's why I'm here. DJ EVE Music, producer extraordinaire, somehow got five input fields for their screen name when they wouldn't even give me two. And she says this, Yo, what's good, MG? Long time no see. I hope you're doing well. I can't believe I missed that free download of your beer a few years back. They charge, but it was worth every penny. LOL. Shout out to DJ EVE, who was talking about when Isotope was giving away dope plugins for the Freezy. But they're at limited time offers like those Burger King Kids Cups. Remember the Burger King Kids Club Club? The Burger King Kids Club Cup toys? The dude had the afro. He looked like he was like, go planet. But he was in the planet tier. He was in the Burger King treehouse. And the other dude had the Zach Morris pager and the goggles because he was swimming in time traveling. In, in Orange High C, that time period. He wasn't outside. Bigger Two Times says, you kind of did, MG. What did I do? Oh, yeah, I kind of did do that video. Yes, I knew I wasn't bugging. Snail Damnify says, Ozo9 had that. We did that. We've been there. We've done that. Snail's like, show me something brand new, baby. You come all the way out to Coney Island to show me a trick the other trick had. You feel me? I feel you. I feel you, Snail, but I kind of feels weird using a master and plug-in on mixing. Isn't it how crazy how your mind compartmentalizes tasks that it actually feels awkward to open up Ozone for a snare? Although, if you put Ozone on a snare, it'd probably be the illest snare ever. Really think about that. We got to take a moment of silence and really think about how dumb we are. But if it wasn't, but I think the CPU usage is different, too. Maybe we're not completely stupid. Maybe we're like 80% dumb. <laughs> Yo, Kakando says the plugin is never opening type beat. You see, I'm not bugging, right? Like, it's mad loading on this screen, bro. There's mad thinking and computing. There's mad, there's mad computational, there's mad computational errors occurring right now. And the only thing that changed was Neutron 4. So let's try it again. Look how fast that was without Neutron 4. All right, we'll try this one more time. And lo and behold, it opened without Neutron 4. So, what I said, I was gonna make something quick, simple, cool, hmm. We should do something in Dorian just because that'd be gangster. We need at least, uh, how aware are you guys, how familiar are you folks, my good folks and my brothers and sisters in Beat Making Christ how aware of you guys are of the concept of something that you may have heard fabled as sonic correctness? Like you're familiar with how octave works with frequency range, works with sound selection. Like y'all got a really cool understanding of that to why if you do that correctly, then mixing is kind of like procedural. Dope Snare says, after thousands on plugins, I find it out it was pure marketing for 90% of them. And now I wondered if what Langston said was true about the copy and paste coding for the EQs. J Thrills, what's good? Hootie hoo. Ayo Kakando says, save off rip. Dope Snare says, Neutron's a favorite of mine. Marketing aside. Can you recommend any free violin VSTs? That could do the flutters. You're talking about the VSCs that do the uh, the runs and the frills and the, the T and FP lettered things. No, there's no such thing as a free one. I have the best one ever. Because you know me, I'm, a, I'm, I'm bougie. I'm bad and bougie. All my plugins bad and bougie. 
Whatever Offset had said, that's what I'm saying. So I just use East West for all all things orchestras East West. And the price they let me get it for is ridiculous. So it's like, yeah, we're gonna use East West. We're gonna advocate. But I really don't push it down no one's throat because y'all don't be composing, composing. Y'all don't want y'all don't y'all don't want to be part of this composer life. You don't want to be counting thirteenths and ninths all day. You know how that feels when you gotta visually memorize every chord shape and pattern to make sure you could really do this, that you're new to this and not true to this? What is this? Oh, we got a Pierre Bourne, not really type joint. I got the Hey, you know, one of those. All right, we're going to pretend that sounds good, okay? Just pretend with me. Just just use your imagination, Barney and friends. Just pretend like, yo, that sounds pretty cool, bro. Where did you get that from? Kind of want to do the same thing. All right, so the sonic correctness is that, bro, if my chords are here, then my bass should be, how low can you go? Down there. And if I create a bass or play a bass instrument in this range, I don't really have to worry about EQing too much because it's not too much of it is going to clash with these upper tones. You can hear that bass pulsing no matter what because it's in its own sonic range. So when it's time to do the melody, I'm going to be up here. So it doesn't clash with the chords at all. You don't have to worry about masking as much. And then the other science is, not only do you have two different sounds in two different ranges, but have them at two different rates. So if you have one pattern that's kind of like every eighth or sixteenth note, then your other one could be a quarter note at a different rate. That way the ear can detect there's two different you know, rhythms, two different cadences. One's high, one's mid or low. And then the brain mixes it for you because the mix, because the brain can specifically point out there's a higher register sound doing this and there's a lower register song sound doing this. And then when it comes to EQing and all that stuff, you're really not stressing that difference. You're really just filtering, really, depending on how clear your, um, your VST, your instrument, or your sample is. But Outside of that, generally speaking, as a pure mixing advice, if you just create correctly, um, the mixing is on, you'll see, I'll, sh I'll show you. All right, so this sound is kind of like, you know, mad dry, and he's like mad verb, bro. I don't know if I could live like this. How, I'm a, how can I get my, I was about to say, how do I get my play button back? This sounds like the type of stuff that the Neptune, that Pharrell be using on a new album, so Drake and everybody. These dry ass Triton strings, Neutron, can you help? We'll see what Neptune strings, Lord they teasing. Lord they teasing and lying. I, I can't mix nothing with that. The detuning on that is ridiculous. That's a Frank Ocean beat. Y'all got it. Play. Whoa, that could be that could be Pierre Bornish. Raising an octave. Oh, oh, we. we. All right, there's a little too much sust sust sustenento on that. Oh, we, we might have a bop, bro. Hold on. Bro, we're, <laughs> we're in good territory. We're about to plug and be it. Yeah, bro, and all we got to do is follow it up with a pretty sweet melody, and we're out of here. Check this out. We're going to tag these things as we go. This I'm going to name Pad. Pad is for not a bass. All right. <laughs> kind, of, kind of showed you, didn't I? Then I'm going to take that. I'm going to send it to the mixer track. I kind of want to color code them, but just for as per example, I'll send it to mixer. I'll open up a Neutron 4. 
Because I know you're like, yo, I've been watching this video for 80 hours and he has opened up Neutron 4. I'm like, dang, you're right. Here it is. But as I'm labeling these tracks and assigning tracks, at the top right here, where it says Pad Neutron, that's that's good money. You want to make sure, thank God it, um, it inherited the name automatically from the track being assigned with its name. But if you just put it on a blank insert, make sure you name this to what it is. Because when you go into that uh, mix assistant view, or you're using its, uh, I don't even know what the, the module is called, but you can see where things are panned and what the levels are. Relay, I guess, but what relay, you know what I'm talking about. It don't go no further than that. That other thing that's not this, that thing right there that comes with this, but it's not this, but it interacts with this and the others that do the thing like this the most. Now that we're on the same page, you want to make sure all this is labeled so you can quickly switch between them. And especially when you unmask and stuff, because I'm guessing the unmasking menu has the uh, comparison. Like, oh, you want to unmask this from this track? Insert number 121. Like, what's on mixer? Insert insert number number 21. PDF dot GFF dot file. And you're like, yo, I should have renamed that while I was creating the beat. And here we are. This icon means assistant view. Play audio to get started. He hits spacebar. Alright, so I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Now, we're on a page that says Tone Match. This is exactly what I wanted and what I wanted it for. This is what the musical rebalance thing traces typically. On this level, we have 50 to 100% tone matching capability. However, I don't have a tone matching reference. Synthesizer, synth pad, how about that? Let's hit play. So it does exactly what I think it does. Takes the spectrum, aka the EQ node modules, takes a snapshot of the heat map of its critical points, compares it to your works, and it does through its subjective and additional properties lets you blend between the taste of both. What I need to do is import my own custom plus sign. Qbeat samples, why not? Let's how can we do 20 at once? Can we do this without the program freezing? Do Macintoshes normally do this? We have one. Ooh, goody. Let's keep going. Let's play Tetris. Like, let me be great. Let me select something. Let me, oh, bag, bag, give me 50 feet. Oh, Lord have mercy, this is, this is booty. It does this thing where you can't really select anything. Like, it gets wonky. Sorry, not sorry, I guess. Let's go. All right, let's add 20 more. I don't trust you. Let's get clout. Because a lot of people don't pretend to do this review for clout. Oh, man. Did he say that out loud? Give me this. All right. I'm going to go to clout. Oh, you're not about that mixing life, son. You don't even make your beats. You buy them off of Fiverr. Boo! Producer. Communa. Okay, here we go. Let me, let me, let me get in this box. Pause. Anything? There we go. All right. There we go. Now we are. Somehow this works. I don't know how I'm manipulating my operating system to allow me to select something, but I am. Because I'm a genius. All right. Here we go. Nope. One more time. Nope. Please come again. Now we're in there. We're in there. Come on. There we go. Now we're in there. It's like, it's like when you're on Mario Brothers and you're on the, behind the white brick level and you can't see where you at, but you know you got to jump because the pit's on the front. It's just like that. Sickle mode is a good reference. So now I can play my sounds to these references. Yo, this plugin could probably get somebody pregnant, dog. That's a really, that's a really cool, really cool, easy way to do what that is. You feel me? Like, and it's going to keep my references in there forever and ever. Amen, too. Yeah, bro. We might. 
someone might be having a baby next summer. Just after, one of you watching this video, Spirit is telling me that if you get this plug in and you successfully tone match your loops and your samples, she might want to have your baby dog. Just just take it up. Just don't don't claim it. It's a general reading. Cuz, 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 that's that's nuts. Cuz, check this out though. Check this out, cousin. Check this out. Check this out. The orange, you know, the struggle Nike check mark, like the, the fake Nikes from Walmart and Roses. That Nike check mark, if you look at it, it's orange, right? It's the range for the tone of the reference. So in every reference, you're gonna have a different shape, right? Sometimes it looks like the bell curve in your algebra class, and sometimes it looks like I no need to be disrespectful, but your, your ex-baby mama's only fans earnings for last month. This one. So if you look at that, that's the actual EQ reference. So when we use the ozone ver reference of that, you'll see it warp its EQ curve, which was a white line around it. And it's kind of like hit and miss. And the shape always looks terrible, so you're always mad and insecure. But because they're using the musical rebalance overlay, what happens is as you adjust it from 0 to 100%, your white line is now being conformed to the range. So as long as you lock your sample spectrum into the range of your reference, you good money. So you don't have to worry about is it 0%, 50%, 100%. Now you can visually tell like, oh, the white line floats perfectly in between these, these brackets. So check it out, you'll see. That white line. And as I go up, it redraws itself. So you don't have to choose 100% of the flavor. You can just back up off of it a little bit and be in that range. And then the rest, of course, punch. If we need to add punch, this sound doesn't need punch. Distort, I'll mess with it. I'll, rock, I'll flux with it. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit, but not right now. With this, what is that about? Cousin, 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 cousin. Mm -mm. Nah, this is, this is. Yo, that's the illest. That's like up there. That's like the illest stereo widener. The, the stereo widening process they use in that algorithm, that algorithm, rhythm, redeem, ding a ling a ling, school bell ring, that. Their um, panning algorithm is crazy. You should use sample, like I use sample spreaders, pause. On samples and stuff, I use the fruity spreader, stereo enhancer. But that's because it's the only thing that kind of sounds like what Ozone just did with a little push it north and it worked. I was like, all right, cool. That's why it cost a million dollars, I guess. <laughs> we need a pluck sound to interplay with this sound. What goes good with uh, pads? Nothing, right? Like, they're just like by themselves. Like, nothing sounds good with them. Bells. Uh uh, these are, this is not it. Oh, yeah, we definitely not getting invited to any of the parties off of this sound. But we'll see what, what it, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it'll be cute. It'll be cute if, you know what I'm saying? No, that ain't it though. We gotta do better than this. Mm -mm. Y'all was gonna let me do that too. Y'all was gonna let me try to play it off and like really make that melody like that. Cause y'all really think that's funny. I don't think it's funny. I would never let you make a melody like that.
we're just gonna use this as per example. Um, I need a better uh, tone though. Brother, hit play. Actually, that tone is fine, but you see how like, well, because of the stereo imaging, the pad wraps around that whole range anyway, which is why that, that algorithm is impressive. But um, the EQ range of these two sounds is what we're gonna have to resolve now. So I wanna rename this to, uh, it's a lead, we'll call it that, but it's more like a ARP. Where did it go? Where did you go? Where did you go now? So, speaking of octave range, you visually can see they're not in the same octave, but if I've dropped it down to where they overlapped, that'd work because they're in a similar uh, frequency and they actually sound good together in that range. But it's like rocking like that because the other sample is low pass in a unique way. So this is perfect, like sonically, son I'm talking about purely sonic correctness. The sound selection is a little susty, but who uses Goliath for synthesizers? I have Electra, a Prophet, and Access Virus, and I'm bugging out right now. And y'all just let me do it. That's what I'm saying. Like, where's the love? Like, Will I Am, can you write me a song like that? Because I don't feel it either. They're really letting me rock like this. But yo. Sounds, this is, this, this is crazy. The spacing, like how everything is so clear. And all we gotta do is rock an 808 to this. Why, you see. I'm gonna stop spoiling the end of the movie. All right, let's 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 try. So that one's named Lead. All right, let's go to the goddamn, you know what I'm saying? I like it. But that's not what we're gonna use as a reference. I guess by default, this other is what it uses when it does this anal analyzationism. Analyzationism. That's a word. Write it down. Please go to Urban Dictionary and go ahead and add that. Listen, we get credit. You can say as said on at MG the Future YouTube stream. I'll be famous in the future if you do that. Okay. So, this other is a reference that it comes up with with the AI, machine learning, database, whatever. It's probably two lines of code. Let's not, let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's comparing it to that, hence the orange is a generic shape. It's like a like a smiley curve in old school mastering EQ. Like it just does this thing and you can go from zero to a hundred real quick with it. That's mad childish. Like as a grown man, you should have references. So I'm gonna go to my reference library. And it's still there, you hear me? Watch this. That's like a MC Hammer synth, bro. Like, I feel like I can't touch it. Mmm, distortion. How does that work?
the mastery of the sound, the, the mastery that you have of the sound field with just those two parameters is really, that was three parameters. Um, the EQ matching, which is handling the total EQ curve because I'm matching it to something else. So it's kind of like, it's not like precision or subtractive EQ. It's just EQ for the sake of forcing a, 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 an, outs, an outlier sound into the mold of an existing framework sonically. So that's like a cheat code by itself. That's why I'm geeked out that they added this as the prominent for facing feature because it is, since Ozone has done that, EQ matching since version two or three, that has been its, that should be like in everybody's toolbox as the first step you do. Go ahead and go ahead and EQ match this. And if you don't have nothing EQ match it too, go ahead and spend a few minutes finding that reference list. Matter of fact, the uh, Sample Magic, before they sold their company, they had like that Magic AB plugin, which like you could load up 10 audio files with cue points to like sonic, like uh, through your ears, switch between different sources and what you're making. And it's important to do that because how do you EQ, how do you sculpt something in the air? Music is invisible. So how do you sculpt something that no one can see into a shape that's going to be translated the same way everywhere people hear it, a.k.a. everywhere people don't see it. So, like, the, the to master EQ is probably, like, the most... Mastering EQ is like having perfect pitch as a piano player. Like, if if you if you could... if Like, what Wayne, what Wayne say? I said, if he don't do nothing, he can ball. He's gone all day like the clock on the wall. Go and get your EQ, little mixing bag boy. If you can EQ and hear EQ like that, on that level, bro... You're ahead of everybody. I think e hearing EQ is probably harder than detecting if something's a C or something. Like, and them... See, this plugin don't make sense to a person who who wants to EQ and shit. Like, if you want the full sell or you learn how to mix with a course, you're going to look at this spectrum thing or the tonal balance via tone match and be kind of lost like, why would I have a reference? This is my unique butterfly piano. It's like, no, dog. You can go to all the chronic instrumentals and just analyze the piano part of Scott Storch and Dr. Dre's tone and then make a library of that and then take that EQ tone and curve and apply it to Keyscape and get your Keyscape piano in range. It's a whole different science. You have to you you have to be an artist, like a visual artist almost, to get this. And the way that they made this, like four four modules, is crazy because it's almost like it's designed to be like an iPad app. Like this is like a toy, like an iPad, a uh, court gadget type. Not very. Don't take it very serious. So like even their marketing is pretty sublime because they're. It's like you, not insulted. How do I say it? Like its minimal look is for like kids. But then what it does is way more advanced than if they gave you all the individual frequency band points. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? It probably doesn't. The distort module adding some some jazz to it, which is not very apparent to me in these two descriptions. Overdrive, scream, scratch, clipper. Okay, so that's ugly distortion. And this is tape retro tube. This is harmonic distortion. Guitars, bass versus vocals and uh, violins. Got you. All right. And the punch module, of course, is a looks like a super transient shaper. So it's everything you need, cuz. What are we talking about? But I'm tripping over the stereo part, like how it can control, how mono it can make this synth, and then you can put them, because they're in the same octave, put them perfectly equal but different than each other. Explain the science to me, how they do that. baffled low-key low-key baffled just a little bit i feel like someone's trying to trick me you know what i'm saying like ain't no way boss but i remember i got this feeling when neutron was doing that when i was using studio one i was like it just doesn't make sense to try to figure out how to mix no more let's just run with it let's just see where this thing takes us you know what i'm saying like it mixes better than me so you know what i'm saying what can go wrong all right so we got that i want to unite these into a reverb 
George Desiree, I saw the orange, I see you. Isotope Neoverb, which is also available on the websites mentioned or linked in the description of this video. They really want to spell isotope on this one. Word. So I got Neutron, Newtone, but I ain't got Neo. I'm either I'm gonna find Neo Verb on this list or Neo's gonna find his hairline. Who's gonna win? Neo, 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 Neo. Meh. 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 It's there. It says it's there. Y'all trying to fool me? This is a this is a, this is an oldie but goodie too now. Come on now. I'm gonna bypass these jokers because um, maybe my ears are playing tricks on me. Yeah, naked, there's no separation between them when they're naked. The two sounds naked, they don't actually blend very well in that octave. That frequency, whatever that the mid frequency, they're clashing like a mug, bro. Even with the reverby, but it's when you hit that neutron with the EQ matching, the stars start aligning, the claps start to clapping. You know what I'm talking about? It's all action. That's crazy. Do with that information as you wish. Oh man. Now we gotta make this sound good, cause that, that chord progression is mad boring. All we need is like, all I need, you know how like Nas only needed a microphone? I only need a rim shot. All I need is one rim. All I need is one rim. One rim, one opportunity, one flam. Whatever, you know what he was talking about. You saw the music video before Free and AJ broke up. Yeah, we do it like that. It don't need, it don't gotta go further than that. Why would it, right? We'll do some straight hi hats, you know what I'm saying? Just to for intersectionality and representation. We got this. I can do it now, dawg. Don't make me do it. You know I do it. Run right through it. If I do it, if I do it, no, I do it. Oh, yeah, I do it. Well, run right through it. If I do it, don't make me do it. No, I do it. I do, I do, I do, I do it. Woo! Oh. I need that to not ring. Like, what is this, PD crack? We need this to be simpow. So simpow. You'll be like, oh, shit, I could not believe young boy. I could have done this myself. I'll be like, you're right, young boy. But you did not. What did I say about you? Um, you go up and I'll do it. Let's see what happens. Oh, that ain't it. Mm -mm. That ain't it at all. Oh. Oh, it does that because of the shape now. I don't know if I like that type of 808. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's that's not it. Hold on, guys. Let me let me freeze the freeze the tape real quick. Just pretend like I can edit this video and insert something I care about, right? And we're gonna do this real fast forward. I wanna make something I care about because the the beat's too slow for the type of bass I wanna do. We wanna Detroit it out just a touch of love a little bit, like keep sweating slave, but not really that. So let me do we're gonna do a occidental melody. I want to tap into my Moorish heritage and channel like one of my ancestors on the flute. I'm going to keep it very generic, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we're nothing to write home to mom and dad about, but just to let you know, we out here, we really do this. So give me a second, forgive me, you know what I'm saying? Just for now, you can go to the bathroom, get refreshments, whatever you got to do at this juxtaposition. Whatever you got to do, you can do it right now. I hear a lot of chatter, I don't see a lot of moving though. Uh-huh. Why is it uh don't worry about it, I'll figure it out. <laughs> I've figured out worse things than this. I've done this a hundred times, don't worry. Can I, can I get away with going full five on them? It does. Oh, my, I'm goofiest, man. I'm talking about, I'm writing this chord progression in minor and I'm in Dorian, dog, which is like major leaning like heck. Hold up now. Oh, that might can work earlier in the game. Hold up. do that so bad but it don't sound good if I do that we can keep it two bars because you know what I'm saying I listen to the Shinmu con I listen to the Shinmu soundtrack they didn't have four chords that's some that's some American stuff oh we hit him with that chunk listen that tonga tang tonga tang whatever R. Kelly was talking about Oh, that can work. We're going to have to make a bass track that's just one note, though, because it's one bar sequence. And then to, we need some contrast. So these are plucks in the mid-range, so we're going to need a pad or strings or somebody in that, in, that, in that same range. So let's try some cellos. Cello, cellos, you got them. Um, cellos have a good tone to them sometimes. You get, a, you get a mean cello, bro. Cellos could be mad romantic, cuz... Don't sleep on cellos, whatever you do. If you think you need strings, I promise you, you need cellos first. I bet you, you don't need strings. I bet you it's just cellos. I can promise you that. Watch. That's gonna sound crazy. I can hear it already. I can already, I can already it's already there. Now we got to take it to space age. So this is when you do add the synthetic sounds. They actually have a synthesizer, this company, to keep it in that tonality, but it's really not that serious. I just want to make sure this is fire when I do the step that I do after the next step. Bro, did I not just close you? The disrespect on my computer is real. All right, we're going to go to Electra just so that we can get the game going. I want to see if we can... One note, one bass, Pierre born this one. Hold on. We're going home. All right, let's get a copy. Let's get a paste. So these are four very different sounds, three different very textures. We'll see what happens. I get to choose, do I want the pad above the cello or the cello above the pad? Both of those is fly though, ain't gonna hold you on it though. You feel me? Like, nah, 
nah, we need that spread. Pause. That pad is mad aggressive. That pad got like really bad breath. You know what I'm talking about? Like it sounds like if you woke up next to that pad, you don't want to talk to it. Word. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You see. Someone gotta light a candle, bro. The disrespect I'm experiencing. Fruity Loops ain't crash since I've been in Charlotte, North Carolina. I haven't had a Fruity Loops crash on a on a stream in about goddamn 50, 11 years. Like, what would Fruity Loops crash for? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't know what I'm saying. Average Joe says, that's crazy. I made my first beat using Dorian last night. Anyone tried a VSC called Cube? MG, you just preached was almost everything in making a tune. Fill those walls. Katakana says, yep, thanks for the stream. Dope snare. J Davis says, visual mixer. I think that's what it's called. Damien says, we need more AI. Katakana says, wow, J Thrills with the dope. Papira, why did your 3 a.m. get deleted? Killer Nuts says, yeah, man, re-upload the last 3 a.m. 3 a.m. 3 a.m. 3 a.m. You know what I'm talking about? Like, what happened, what had happened was I called it in that 3 a.m. video. I said if I play the music that I wanted to play to match the vibration the conversation was in, that they're probably going to pull it. And just as sure as God made green apples... YouTube pulled it. And normally that's fine because you can edit out the musical offense. But in this case, because it was the got on Space Jam soundtrack, Warner was like, no, you can't even pretend to play this in all territories. So when you go to edit it and remove just the, if I hit them high, hit them high, hit them low, just, it just if you think about editing that, YouTube goes, guess what? We can't even edit it for you, Playboy. I kind of guess you can't use this video. Now, if I can download it, because I can't even load it. You understand what I'm saying? It's not in the YouTube player. They said, nah, Warner Music or whatever, whoever owns Space Jam soundtrack was like, you going to disrespect Bugs Bunny? And the crazy thing is, I was playing it on YouTube from a channel that doesn't belong to that company. So it was like, Ay, 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 ay. Like, I feel like I'm like Zordon and the Power Rangers and shit. Like, how did they, how did I play the song if that's the rule? You get what I'm saying? Anyway, so they, they, they chopped that whole last video down. No, no, no permiso. You get what I'm saying? Like, tom, tom, tom. Now I could try to hit the edit button and download it and go to the music part and edit it and resplice it. And then I'm uploading, what, a six hour video. That's going to take all day. So it's not even worth it, cause for real, for real, if you were there in real time, you got the downloads. <laughs> That's why it's so important that you subscribe to this channel. We, we cover a variety of topics from how to pimp your ride, how to pimp women that wanna be pimped, and how to pimp your audio files. I'm gonna work on that. Don't, don't hold me to that. We're gonna work on that. <laughs> This guy, shout out to you. He says, within a few moments of watching, I see you're adeptly describing intricate features that are incomprehensible in other tutorial videos. Are those dots mating? Analyzation of analyzations. Damn if I says the lows will shine some work in Neutron 4. I noticed they took it down. That was weird. Yeah. Yeah, that video was pretty intense, though. I don't think they took it down for the Space Jam contract. I think they work like law enforcement. They used the Space Jam offense to really lock down the core message of that video, which was six hours long, where I kind of just snapped out on everything. All right, so we're going to try this again. Like, for whatever reason, the world doesn't want me to do this cool beat that I have in my head. So we're going to do what I normally don't do. It'll all work the same, though. I get those goosebumps every time. Mm. I need the Heimlich. Put it to the side. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah.
could work. Pluck. Oh, pluck plucks. This expansion is terrible. Like, am I being punked right now? Not finding a good bell on Electro is like a parody. Yeah, I'm being punked. Alright, I ain't beef for that. I ain't beef for that. Like, you ain't gonna disrespect me. Now on my computer. We're going to live with the decisions we make. I was about to say, they called it drip season, but there ain't no drip in my seasoning. You know what I'm talking about? Like, that wasn't a drippy pluck, dog. Like, that was a regular zippity doodah type sound. What are they talking about? How are these not in the same key, though? That's the, that's the science I want to understand. I guess I just be making up stuff. That's what's up. Okay, so these sounds aren't, they're, they're, they're mutually exclusive. You know what, you're right. Oh, that's fire. That won't even the effect I was going for, but God, no, I'm not kind of fire. Oh, Lord, help him. What are the 808s that we use? You feel me? Oh, don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. You feel me? God, no, you feel what I'm saying? God, no. Watch, 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 watch. Where's my snare? Forget everything. Where's my where's my perfected sounds? Thank you. Yeah, I know what I'm doing, damn it. Let's go. Try and mess with my imagination. Go ahead and loop it around. Go ahead and don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. Go ahead and loop it around though. You don't know how to loop it around though? Okay, that's cool. You ain't gotta loop it around. You know what I'm saying? What do you, you think you're a fiasco? You don't want to loop A around, you get it? Bars. Y'all don't want me in battle rap. Y'all ain't ready for it. There we go. I have a choice to mess this up on the second half. Oh, that boy is so smart. He should get a, whoa. He should get a GED for this performance. If I get an honorary GED off of this stream, boy. Boy, look at that, goddamn! Look at that. Look like a Mario and Luigi. You don't even see it how you see me. You get it? No, no, no. This, this sound. This, no, no, no. This is this is on the XP two. XP two tone. You, you go to XP2 tone, young boy. You don't, you don't do same. You do same bank or not. Give me that right there. Thank you so much. I don't hear a thing. What a, is there witchcraft? Like, I could have sworn they're exactly the same notes. But somehow they're in two very different musical principles. I'm not feeling this playing with my mind. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna go with it. 
Oh, Lord, help him. Oh, this is about to be fire. That ain't even, you feel me saying, you know what I'm saying? We'll call this one Bellish, like Billy Ellish, but Bellish. And then we'll call this the ARP, because this is, for sure, it's got to be Green Apples. That's an ARP. Then we're going to mix these two together using Neutron 4. Thank you for joining us. My name is MG The Future, and uh, we're just trying to get the vibrations high enough to make a pretty dope sound. Neutron 4, please save this. Save us from this sound. Bellish, part one. Let's go. Don't forget to save, you know I got it. I won't forget to save, I'm about it, about it, yeah. Don't forget to save, don't for, for, for the wallet. Don't for, forget to save, you need a thousand islands. I got a thousand climbing, I got a thousand on them. Okay, y'all didn't want me to rap like that today. M plus auto tune ain't on, so that's kind of tacky. Thousand but the, but the thousand color pilot. We're gonna call it. <laughs> thousand islands you feel me for whatever reason spirit said call it that checking in oh this isn't a building i see you fl has audio save well we saved it just in case That's ill money, dog. How, how you use the harmonics to push the sound forward, like here. Oh my God. Oh, I know this is about to be fire. We just gotta gain, I think Neutron gain stages. It would seem reasonable to assume that it does, right? On some AI shit, right? It should be game staging if I'm not mistaken. I think it does. These do not go together. How? How? Though? I just want to know how. Oh, that's so sick. Lord, why won't they just let me have that? You know what I'm saying? Why can't I have two very nice melodies in the same song? Literally the same keys. Totally different sound though. Like how how are we even how are we even here today? Like what in the Higgs Bossom particle is going on at the Large Hydron Collider, which fired off two days ago to prepare for the big launch into July? But whatever, this isn't the National Geographic. What I'm saying is these are the same exact keys, and they sound like two different songs. Why? I understand that. Now tell me something. How's it to, how did I get two different beats with the same data? This is drugs. There's drugs involved. Someone is doing the drugs. We're gonna go ahead and try another sound, I guess, cause you can you explain how that makes sense? And it's only this plugin that does that to me. It'd be having me looking crazy when I wanna look cool. It's like, <laughs> you wanna be cool today? <laughs> Not today. So the bell already has pluck sounds in it. I just wanna see if I'm bugging. What is that thing called? Don't they have Fruity Loops have a thing called Fruity Chopper? It's called Fruity Chopper style, right?
that's fire. You about to see why it's fire too. But let me go ahead and do the. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The thing we got to do with that. Hold on. We got we to gotta hit that with the Neutron. Put them in the same hallway. You know what I'm saying? And then we want to bless them with some reverse. And you want to see the 808's going to blend so perfectly. It's going to be a very beautiful, tasteful, you know what I'm saying? Something cool for the summer type of vibe in like three seconds here. Just bear with me. Please. crazy about this particular distortion module it being so intuitive and in front of you because this reminds me of the lander chroma effect section which i said was really cool because you can see where the effect or there's a correlation between the geometry and the uh, feedback in your ear this plugin does the same thing like i normally don't know how to set distortion i'll be stuck on like oh should it be retro should it be tube i don't know which one it should be like, use your ears. I like, I don't want to use my ears. I want to mix with my eyes, damn it, with my ears. Second. And um, this does that. And it has all the modules from Trash or whatever. And it's like, bong, like, hold that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm using it on every sound, which is an improvement in terms of getting everything conditioned and moisturized in the right location. You feel me? Don't got no. Someone said the wave started, damn it. We're the wave. That's just the wave. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, it's about to be a movie. Oh, we didn't need the extra drum. I didn't actually for the extra, for the extra drums. I needed what I needed. What I needed it. You got, you got me. Boom. Boom. Who's your daddy? Boom. Boom, there goes the dynamite. That's it. It go no further than that. Oh, we gotta hit him with the oopty wopty with the doo doo doo. Hey, I run it. Pick up. I'm gonna put Neutron on the 808, bro. We ain't playing out here. We gonna get that 808 distortion crazy. But before we do that, there's some more. We got to get the hi-hats, hi-hat, and you feel me? The <laughs> Who got the ill hi-hats? Uh, what's today? Today is the second six. So we're going to use the wave eight. Six plus two is eight. We'll do it like that. My hi-hat should be here according to Gimantria. Can I, can I pull it off? I don't think that one does it. That one does it better. Oh, it's about to go down. Please bear with me as I prepare Hyatt's to be completely and utterly destroyed under this regime.
Does it does it need to go further than that? We need one more snare just to back it up. Just so, you feel me, got like we got to go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's gangster dog. What key are you in? You're so silly. You are silly. You're a silly sound dog. Ha <laughs> ha, lands on B, that's why it works. What? We don't need it all the time though, dog. Like you, we can let it, we can let it burn like Usher made it. feel about the timing of that though we'll put it in the back you feel me like it'd be in the back of the classroom making noise but no one not disturbing nobody rim whatever it is we got to go above it Push these hi hats forward. That's just, you know what I'm saying? It's just ridiculous. I want to put the hi hats in Neutron. I want to put my snare in who, who trying. Oh, got down. You know, just we put them all in there. I mean, what are we, what are we being conservative for? I got the CPU for it. Purple. We're going to purple to pink. Yes, we is. Yes, sir. Everybody get a new trying. Now what? Now what they got to say to us? Everybody get a new trying. That's how I this how I give it up this year. Let's do it. Woo! Jesus. Help him. What in the John the Baptist is going on? If I turn the punch up on this tang right here. Help them. Just a little stereo. Just a little stereo. Just a little. Good Lord, that's a lot of stereo. And it's just a little stereo. And we can go back to the regular view and really appreciate the gangsterness of the solo button. Oh, it's performing punch on a multi-band basis. They just stunting. It's all that's happening. This is a stunt. This is a stunt. Everybody, put your hands up. It's a stunt. Put your hands down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, talk to me. Talk to me nice. Talk to me nice. We need this up, though. I like how their meter is one-to-one uh, -one with Fruity Loops, which is useful. Fruity Loops and its meter are identical, so you can mix with this meter, technically. I just need it right there. I need that limiter on, built in. How gangster is that? How 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 eerily gangster specific is that? What are we talking about? Give me my punch module back. What is this? I need more sustain. How about that? Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Are you kidding me? You're playing games. Shorty, you keep playing with my mind, with my mind, with my mind, with my mind, with my mind. With my mind. Mm, that's a squeeze, not a punch. Oh, okay. 
Just, just ridiculous. Just, just manslaughter. So there's a conflict right off Rippy, right? The 808 is being masked by similar frequencies uh, between these two bells. So we're gonna create a bus for these two bells, right? We're gonna call it the instrument bus and or the key, keys, keys to the city bus, the, the, the public transportation bus. Oh, it's never on time, but I gotta go to work because Lord forbid I get fired for minimum wage. That bus, Neutron. We wanna see if we can find this masking feature. Meh. Drew Cartier. That 808 never been that clear. That 808 never been that crisp before. I gotta buy that Jason Joshua VSC just for the culture. This and that and soothe. We out of here. We're to the races. Where's the EQ matching? Uh, what's it called? Masking on the 808. These are the masking range. Masking on my 808. Now my 808 cuts through. And just like that, it's magic. And just like that, we have it. And just like that, it's magic. Ain't that a bitch? Are you serious? Are you serious? See how cloudy it became? You see how cloudy it became without it? Are you kidding me? Get out of my face. You kids have, you kids are spoiled. Uh, what can you do for my, 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 my hi-hat? What can you do for my hi-hat? I mean, what you, can you do for my, my, my hi-hat? Do it for my hi hat. I got, I got bushes. I got cookies and I got that za in my hi hat. This is in my hi hat. Got that cookies and I got that za that puffin on my hi hat. Got it in on my hi hat. Can you put distortion on hats? Yeah, again. I need to type to make it sound like a stick. in here somewhere. Less is more. Now I can go back to regular view, put my limiter on, and don't test my gangster on the 15. I see you. I see you, brother. Oh, this a walk in the park. Oh, this a walk in the park, cuz. We make some by numbers. I ain't got time for the other stuff. see the envelope shape when you adjust it which is mad useful put some tick on that snare pause is not what it sounded like negative nine let's mix by numbers because we can
that 808, the way it controls that 808 is mad stupid, bro. Like, what is going on in life? ridiculous that's pretty ridiculous that's pretty ridiculous sir i don't even know what's going on bro like that is i want to subtract <laughs> there's just so much there's just so much going on in this life the 808 is being messed too by the snare right A -doom 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 -doom. That's crazy talk. Someone's doing drugs, bro. Like, there ain't no way that it's that easy anymore. So the 808 was cut. And what about the snare? Was the snare cutting this, too? sensitivity up and you see these red lines these lines are occurring the more extreme or protruding they are the more clashing there is so the idea is that you're making moves down here to subtract them up here you can see like when I dip here there's less distortion or there's less masking so that's all I'm paying attention to that's all I'm trying to see if I can like balance it from the perspective of if I increase it somewhere I have to boost it somewhere type of whatever you know you you know how to do this. We plug in, baby. Party 
sound. This ain't a party beat though. Oh, we could, we could, you go, got, you go, go, gadget, go, go, gadget. I got down, um, you gotta run that back. Go, go, gadget, got down, flute melody, one on one. Should get a different result because those guys could be cute and clamorous in the background but the flute ha ain't nobody come here to see you flute we're about to disprove that theory saucy Exactly if it's up top in the front or in the back at the bottom, like Woo! But we wanted up top though.
that's crazy. The stereo part is bugging me out. And a little mono on the flute. Just a little more mono. Just a little. ridiculous watch when I remove watch when I whip and watch when I nay nay when it when it's all gone not all gone but some gone Finally having a problem. Are you peeking? Oh my god, this can be very problematic. You peek. Oh my god, this is hitting just a little too hard. Haha. <laughs> It's just ridiculous. It's, it, it, it does exactly what's advertised. I ain't even. I ain't even. I ain't even have to use goddamn soothe. But I'm going. I'm going to get God Particle. That's a promise. I, I halfway raised up the, the funds necessary for God Particle in my Cash App. Shout out to everybody who's donated. I skipped Starbucks for God Particle. Anyway, um, yeah, Neutron, Soothe, God Particle. Track spacer, kickstart too for sure. Because if I had uh, added a kick to that track, I would have wanted to uh, carve out the kick from the 808 like uh, kickstart shows you how to do, which is amazing. And then any effects bundle, right? Like any of the one knob effects that you like or uh, effects rack by Sound Toys or uh, we got a few other people who do that, right? The multi effects like uh, Expanse Audio. Or uh, RC120. RC20. Why don't we call it RC120? Maybe they got a new RC20 coming out. Stay woke. And then, um, along with my car, FC The Truth. What's good, bro? Rumothy, I see you. What is this new fangled techno? I don't know. Let's do another one. That was just warm up. I don't even make plug type beats, so I don't even know what that was. That was me saving myself for myself. Let's try this oinka oinka thing one more time. Cause I know I could, pl I know I could play a koto right now. I'll play a mean koto in real life anyway. So like, why can't I do it in MIDI? 
it's the key that I'm in. That's I gotta get out of Dory and messing around, trying to be cute and clamorous. That's all it is. Is the scale I'm in ain't letting me assail to the scale that I'm in. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. And what we put on the fish scale, we will sail if we look within. Mmm, hold that, hold that. But I'm not a rapper. Okay. I don't know what that means, but okay. Should I make a melody that's fast or a melody that's slow? The world may never know. We know. If I was a betting man, give me my snare. We're not playing this game. Baby, you can do it. Take the time. Do it right. You can do it, baby. Y'all don't know nothing about that either. Y'all wasn't outside back then. I was outside. I was like two and a half years old, and I was outside. Alright, so we could we could go four chords or nah. Oh and we'll find out. Hey Uh uh, it's too happy. Is nothing should be happy right now. Mm. Oh, I can slow it down. Oh, I can play that game. I could play, trust me, buddy. Two, two could play that game. Oh yeah, that's my favorite type of generic West Coast beat to do. I don't know about them sound click West Coast beats. <laughs> Y'all done gave the wrong brother money. Listen, 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 listen. There's not many who do it like this. Like, like this. Like, like, like this. You understand what I'm saying? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Sam L. Sam Jackson. All right. We'll tell you what right now I got now. We ain't got to play no games with it. We going straight to church. We going straight to business. You don't got to play games with it when you already see what happened. What in the G unit records am I doing? He does not know. Don't do them like that, goddamn. Don't do them like that. Just need a flute now. All I need is one flute. Oh, Lord, help him. That's gangster.
Now I got the tone closer, then I can lo-fi it. So like you're doing it in the right you're doing it in the right order when you do it this way, which is crazy to me. It's gonna be very interesting to see how this goes. That don't make no sense, cuz. Fucking showed you, didn't I? Alright, we're in the Dizzy Galepsy. Don't do him like that. Where you at? Oh, you up here with it. Yeah, let's do it like that. Messed it up for the whole class now, Mr. Anderson. Uh, can I counter? No, we do counterpoint. I ain't got time for this bullshit. How do I do that? Right there. Yep. I could try that to keep it senpao. But young boy, senpao don't get you guami. So I turn it down just a little. You gotta control that stereo image too. This is a little buck wild, buck nasty, but not a problem. See how clear your snare comes out when you control the stereo of that sound? That's crazy. We ain't gonna go no further than that. Why do you need to be wider than that? We ain't mixing this for goddamn Adobe's Atmos. We mixing this for gangster beats coming out of our mono iPhone speaker when they go to our SoundCloud, bro. The end. Go no further than that. It shouldn't, at least. Man, you go as far as you want to. <laughs> the, the ceiling is the roof. Uh, we need, we need, you know what I'm talking about? We need a, we need. Hey. Or something like that. Or we just need a different snare. What key you in? Because I'm in the key of doing what I want major. Yeah, so what key is this rim shot in? We're going to change that to the key do what I want major. Format. Stretch Pro Format Plus 100, please. And we're out of here, boss. It sound ugly though in key. It sound like a girl that's only cute when she uses filters on Snapchat. That's what it sound. Whoa.
don't know if I need that kind of action, really. I don't, I don't think we need that kind of action, do we? Oh, gangster. Oh, that's... Hello? Can you someone please answer the door? God dang. That's pretty damn ridiculous, sing. We can do this all in C sharp, can't we? Oh, Lord, help him. That's it. It go no further than that. Let it ride. Just on some gangster shit. Just we just gangsters with it. You put you you put some Vaseline on your claps, dog. I'm tired of these dry claps and these beats I've been hearing lately. Mainly the ones I've been making. I'm gonna put some goddamn Jergens fused shea shea butter coconut with extra lanolin reverb on your snare, boy. Where is it at? Why is there looping? We go by the runners. Uh huh, it's on that side. Oh. We need a goddamn pre-delay on this hoe. Just a little click click. Ha ah, boy, that boy nice. He said he want a Neutron to clap. You know that boy thirsty for some Neutron. Neutron will brighten up the day. Free my 808, Lord Jesus. We gotta free my 808, por favor. Free the 808s, please. Thank y'all. Please come back up. Put some punch on my 808, please. Hey, oh my God, it's a fire. You hear the ring on that? Damn, boy. God damn. Golly. Why? Why is this necessary? Oh Lord, oh Lord, like what is going on?
That's ridiculous. I don't even I don't even understand the science on that all the way. It just works though. I can tick 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 out of here on four steps. Nah, we lying. Whoa, 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 whoa. You slow down, Mr. Hi Hat. Where are you going? Nah, that might be too fast. Uh oh, the speed is pretty fast. I don't know about that. Wait. Oh, we could trick it out like we many fresh. I ain't sweating the small stuff. push that sample further just a little bit and that's through the harmonics this guy Sent, boy, I'm talking about down. Uh, boy, no, nah, man, got down. It make no kind of sense. This don't make no more sense than them talking about got down. The man on the moon made no more sense than the got down man on the moon, boy. I tell you, I was on the moon twice back in there, and it never made sense that they had a man on the moon. It never made sense to me why there's a man next to the man on the moon. I just don't think that's right. <laughs> that's it. It don't go no further than that. Why would they why would they put a man on the moon? They wouldn't put a man on the moon. I just want you to know that. If you ever thought about it long enough, you'd be like, there's no way they put a man on the moon. Believe what you want, man. They ain't put no man on no moon now. That don't make no more sense than a man on the moon. That's crazy. The control on this is nuts. I just don't even, I don't even like it. I don't even like it like that. Like, that's ridiculous. The 808's too loud. That's how annoyed I am. age that better hold on give me a second sir two vinyl por favor That's just nasty cuz what are we talking about?
Oh, I ain't over. It ain't over yet. Set to the masking. The masking is masking the L bass line. Yeah, I thought so. And then on the 808, we can ma unmask the that sound power. It'll be so sound power. So unmask for that right here, young boy. You see what happened. get the point i be sitting here be trying to mix mix bro because you can see what you hear with this plugin it's bothering me because if they can get compression like that that'd be a wrap they haven't figured out how to engage me in their compressor like that yet but they they didn't they got the eq part down that's crazy bro i like it i like the way it makes everything smooth and if you don't like the smoothness you can go even harder and make it very smooth Futuring Sue. <laughs> Sue part two if you're nasty. Let's go. Balance for a Grammy, please. We want to max out the volume too because we gangster. Watch this. Distortion is belligerent. Jesus. mixes like that's the thing like clean clean could work clean well clean is going to work more than clean doesn't work but sometimes you don't want it this clean this clean is scary clean like it's messing me up because unless you put a voice in it you're not going to know so i guess like the advantage is going to be with people who actually record rappers or singers or mix rappers and singers i think that's where it's going to shine in terms of messing with the stereo and the spacing centered around a vocal 
or subtracting around a vocal or track spacing the vocal and all that stuff. That's how you know this is going to be gangster. But just on some instrumental, like mixing your uh, VST tones together, I think this is it. Like, you don't even think about it. Like, uh, it's just ridiculous. This is ridiculous to get that close to a sample off of this, bro. I'm really perturbed. You know what I'm talking about. And that's only because of this module right here. This one. This, this, this shit right here, this little white line. Too much. Just right. Any further question, your honor, young boy? He said, it sounded like it came straight out the karate movie. <laughs> he said, I wonder how Ephetrix would be on hi-hats. Ephetrix is dope on hi-hats. Looperator is made for hi-hats. Same company, different uh, function. One's rhythmic, one's, uh, one's rhythmic effects, one's like sound effects, if that makes sense. I would love that channel 10 sample. <laughs> Whoa, you're waiting for Trapanese number five, buddy. That's all you're waiting for. You waiting for Trapanese number five. Don't you worry, it's coming very soon. That's wild. That's crazy as hell, dog.
Whatever. We'll call that one so simple. Because it really was so simple. But we got any questions yet? You guys are kind of quiet in the chat room, and I kind of feel like I'm doing these streams for free. <laughs> toinga, 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 toinga. Shout out to Beta. Shout out to Kai Robinson. Shout out to Drew Cartier. Shout out to Tater Head. Shout out to Fat. Shout out to Stacks. We out here making bread, but. Get on my bad side. I'm totally rude because I'm a rock star. T -t 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 totally, dude. Yeah, bro, bro, bro. I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that. I get it. I get it. That's going to be my go to for the rest of the summer when it comes to that mixing business. I gotta figure out how to integrate that before or after Luna, though. Like, I might do all that before I go to API. You know what I'm saying? Hit it with them API filters and matches. I take it to a whole nother. Everything sound real in Luna. If you have really good music, it's gonna sound really, really real good. So, Neutron, Luna, Soothe, of course. That's like breathing air at this point. And uh, your favorite drum kits and some good synthesizers or samples and loops, bro. Everything sounds fucking immaculate. The God Particle is the only thing I'm missing. Yeah. If I can get, yeah, Neutron 4, God Particle, Soothe. In no particular order. When it comes to, like, finishing songs, or not songs, but, like, I don't even want to call it mastering. Because you know it's struggle mastering. It's not even real mastering. I didn't even like you, you didn't even I didn't even put it through my hardware, boy. Like, can you imagine I put it through my guitar pedals and let Neutron fix it? Or Sue yeah, Sue and Neutron fix the guitar pedal thing or the Zulu thing. You put it on your Zulu instrument bus and then let it Neutron clear it up, but it still has that saturation from the hardware in it. It's gonna sound like a record. I know it does, because it already does. It sounds like a record in Fruity Loops, and you know how hard that is. So so somehow. Yeah. The stereo image is still kind of crazy. Because I didn't I didn't lock in on every drum sound like I should have. I should put neutron on everything, even if it's just to adjust the width. But yeah, you adjust the width and the saturation versus the up and down of it. Shitting me. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it's crazy. And the masking is, oh, yeah, you can use masking and then use API to notch out those masked frequencies. Oh, gangster, genius-level event just happened. Let Neutron do its thing on some regular, schmegular, degular, then turn masking on, but actually do the notching EQ or subtractive EQ in the API module. Three notches, removal, straight cheese, straight clean, and you can't, you can't go no further. If you can go further than that, you might as well be Forrest Gump. Katakana says, I need some more hustles. King Lemuel says, it sounds damn good on my surround sound. El Kuja says, told you. Ha ha, who shot you? Vatron the Blue Flame says, if you have this, do you really need other channel strips? Uh, the analog channel strips, such as the Waves Omni channel strip by your boy Sheps. Is this colorful? So each module or each type of compressor is mod is modeled after the color of a particular unit. Um, slate the same way, UAD the same way, right? They're all about the tone of the unit in its on state. So if you've ever used like tube tech stuff and you just instantiate it like a bunch of pull tech EQs, like it's the free EQ they give you in every hardware bundle, but it's the most potent when it comes to transforming a sound to something more open. So you put a pull tech on something and it sounds more open. Now you imagine you do that on every track. Like we got 16 tracks and you got a pull tech on all 16. Whether you're boosting or correcting or not, that tone is gonna be in your whole mix. 
that's why people kind of uh, finagle Waves NLS to do the same thing, because Waves NLS emulates the SSL, the Neve, the API console. So what people do is they stack up the console saturation. Well, it's the same thing as just putting channel strip saturation across each channel. So you put all your, uh, S let's say a lot of people buy SSL stuff. So you want to put the SSL pre across all your channels. You're going to use its volume or its amplitude section to gain stage. And then you're going to use its filters because you could damn near high pass every sound. Like you could damn near high pass everything. So you, you filter high pass, low pass things and get the tone and the flat response correct. And then you hit those key elements with Neutron to see the masking issues. And then, you know, you go back and forth. It'll sound very, it'll sound scary accurate, I imagine, but it'll it still have the tonality of your channel strip, but then it has the precision of this AI golf false soothing algorithm thing that's really happening. That's the real T that it could detect that your sound is flat and liven it up. Or it knows exactly how many notches to take a sound. Cause like the crazy thing about Neutron is if you bypass it, it was flat. Like all the life went away. So all that saturation and EQ shit is doing in the top end is good. But if all your sounds do that, then it isn't good. So you have to like choose, you know what I'm saying? If you rapping, if you singing and rapping, you know you're gonna put it on your Vox. If you're using loops, you know you're gonna put it in your loop. And the way that it cut, uh, 808 cuts through, like a 808, a one shot, like a little puny wave 808, and the way it makes it cut through, even when it's pitching and changing its, uh, it changes its form every time you change it to a different key, it still kept it consistent. And that's what I was listening to. It was like, damn, the 808 is in its pocket because of whatever the compressor or whatever algorithm did on a multi band level. So it was like, yo, like you don't have to worry about multibanding 808s because it does it for you. And then we have that other plugin that can um, multiband, distort, or widen the 808s, the, the, the Lifeline Expanse thing. Get out my, if you don't get out my face. My stereo, the only thing that's wrong is my stereo image. I just need to match it to a stereo image of a, a industry track and we out of here. Same thing with, uh, well, technically that'd be solved if there's a voice there because the voice would be mono by default and you'll hear the, if it's too narrow or not. Ah, but I got, we got one, we got, I got, I got time for one more goddamn. I've been streaming for two, two, two angel numbers mm, in the next week or two. You're going to bump into a fat person. Stay woke. Be careful. I use tape plug in from Slate. What's another cool way to make something sound lo-fi? Usually piano. Usually piano benefits from some lo-fi action, but I'm not like at it like that. Cause I don't know how to flip pianos. It sounds strange, but I don't make very captivating piano beats. I know, I know. <gasps> he doesn't make piano beats. What's wrong with him? I don't. I don't think I have a piano yet. Yeah, well, I can't, you know, I don't have a piano beat that I like. I have a beat that I like that has a piano in it, but I don't like it because of the piano. I like it because of the saxophone. Huh. MG, what do you think of the Evo 16? I don't even know what that is. Is that a plugin that I can use to make a piano beat sound good? Because if not, guess what? Not going to use it. Them boys do this little trickety trickety stuff right here. They they'll make their chord come back quick, like. Dun, dun. Right, that's all. Let's go ahead and shape this as we go. What? What are we talking about here?
like what you did there, young boy. Yeah, we we gonna make sure that's correct. I need, uh, I need your help. You just gotta make sure there's a little extra, you know what I'm saying, skedaddle on it. Because if you ain't got the extra skedaddle on it, why are you even making these beats? You feel me? Make sure you got the extra skedaddle when you're hitting them with the battle of the piano beats. You feel me? Ooh, I kind of hear it. Stop playing with me, kid. I'll live with it. That's, that's the one.
that's it. That, it don't go no further than that. It doesn't jazzy enough. You know what I'm saying? If I had my own little lounge and we were serving like chicken gizzards and some french fries and coleslaw on the side of your henny and coke, you'd be like, yo, this is like the best meal ever. You feel me? That's where I met with it in my ministry, actually. Now we just gotta make it sound like a record. Good luck, have fun, don't die.
<laughs> this is funny. This is amazing. Christopher McDaniel, are you promoting yourself on my channel? I don't even know you, pal. What is going on in this life we live? It sounds like these ain't on beat and I don't and I don't like when they're not on beat.
I said, wow, wow. You know what I'm talking about? Something like that. Uh-huh. I'm tuning the kick is no problem, goddamn. It's goddamn, I ain't no goddamn problem. I'm tuning the kick, bitch. Ah, uh, it's key of no. Listen, key of A. We need to format it and move it to C damn sharp. A to C sharp. How many keys is that? One, two, three, four, five, five, five. Battle Cruiser Online. <laughs> The snare can get it too, though. What key you? You a key A boy? You go up four steps so fast, young boy. So crazy, so bar. He got this in key, bro. I ain't playing. This sound kind of quirky, though. Excitement. I need high frequency content. And there's only one place we can get that from. The access virus. But until we get that hooked up again, we're fucking playing around with some of our bridges. Some of our bridges. Do I have any good bridges? Necesito por favor, need some bueno presets for me, boy. Oh, it's a goddamn movie. We got Michael Myers featuring MG. Oh, oh. Don't hurt him, ow.
through Neutron. We're just going to run through it. You ain't got to think about it. Goddamn, just run, run through it. We can call this one. Goddamn. Goddamn. MG the Future. Goddamn. Goddamn. Run through, boy. Hey. Side train, please, to the goddamn kickstart port for four. Anyway, audio port for four. Settings processing port for four. And we fuck play. Got four for four. After Neo Verb, we gotta put these in a room, bro. This the one that's crazy, bro. bro that ain't crazy as hell. Got now, I tell you what. You keep playing. What's this? Why you make it so bright and watery? Start chopping and screwing my CPU usage por favor. Let me rock, bro. Where my ta ta at? Give me the ta ta ta. Project Petal. Whoa, 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 He said he thought we were talking about the, the, the synthesizer.
boy. clean but it then it's starting to annoy me because of the uh the, you know the pops clicks and distortion and stuff all that's extra all that i don't need you feel me like just play my song bro like don't even don't even try it you know what i'm saying but it, it'd be disrespectful so we'll export it and see what it sounds like at full quality hq boom 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 Should play that on a harp. Yeah, a harp can do all that bullshit. A harp could jump around three octaves, no problem. A, a harp is not a guitar, though. Guitars, we be trying to do that shit with guitars, but yo, this sound retarded. Cause a guitar doesn't jump octaves. It can. You can gooseneck it, I guess, but not really. You ain't supposed to. You supposed to be. I've been down the house with a horse, no man. I'm so fun, glad you came. Doom, 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 cause in the desert, mm, mm, be dumb, but no plain, plain, oh, dum, dum, and damn. I said, I've been to the desert on a horse, no name. Yeah, that's a, that song's a bop. That is a 5 6 bop if I ever heard one. You know what I'm saying? That shit's at 5 6 minding its business. And you're like, I really want this to be on beat so I can sample it. But you try to sample that song, you're like, oh, no, buddy. Able to live warp markers ain't got nothing on this. How's this gonna cause stack error or check some bad error in the export? Talk to me. You feel me? You feel me? We did a little something, a little something light tonight on behest of Isotope Neutron, so. It's pretty cool. These remind me of my Studio One beats. I don't know if I like that yet. But it's that openness that I got from Studio One because I was using Neutron. X Appeal in the building. Aoki Kondo, Katakana, Only the Funk. Shout out to Christopher McDaniel. Marquis Solid, I see you, Justin Eggio. Andre Jim, I am him. Ha 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 ha. You feel me? More of the story. If you see me getting jumped, run. I'm about to start shooting. All right, so, uh, new, Neutron, you feel me? That's what it's about. It's a mix assistant. If you're feeling lazy like I am, you can run through, you know what I'm saying? Or you can, you know what I'm saying? You can turn some shit. You can hit some knobs and mess some things up. You know what I'm saying, goddamn, you go to the goddamn, you go to this thing right here, boy, and then this thing, and that thing, and you, you mess it up, and then you say, hey, Neutron, can you fix that for me? Neutron's like, all right, we can go ahead and dig it, boy. So that's why I met with it on this lovely Thursday night. Comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the box below. Leave a comment, subscribe. Appreciate you guys. I'll be back here at the same black channel, same black time tomorrow evening, Lord willing. Thank you guys for your energy, your support, your attention. Till next time, peace. Cash app, MG Future, money sign. You know, money sign, MG Future. You know where I'm at.